going to Target. Shop for two outfits, one daytime, one nighttime, and it all has to be under $100. Oh, 35 bucks for a t-shirt? Makes sense, it's Target. I haven't even looked at the prices. What's up guys, welcome to Clever Style. Hey, what's up, we're going, we're going somewhere cool today. Do you know where we're going? I know where we're going. Where are we going, Lori? <gasps> we're going to Target, which I hate. <laughs> I went once, it was scary. How often do you think you go to Target? Like on a weekly basis? Are we counting how often I shop online and stuff arrives at my house from Target or just stepping foot in store? Cause if that, not that often. <laughs> really, so you do most of your shopping online? Yeah, it's so much easier it is so to much easier. spend effortlessly. Yes. I like my money right where I can see it, hanging in my closet. So today, Lauren, it's good for you. And for me, actually, because your expertise, your target expertise, is My needed. Targetese? Yes, your targetese is needed. I will need it because we're doing something really big and it involves a really huge challenge, okay? We have to shop for two outfits, one daytime, one nighttime, and it all has to be under $100. $100, come on. So here is how it works. We both have to style a daytime and a nighttime look each, and we can use one item of clothing between both of our outfits. And we call that the star item. I mean, I can use a piece from your outfit for my outfit? No. Oh, no. hell yeah! Don't get it twisted, that's not how it works. Oh. We also have to stay within that $100 budget, of course, that's the worst rule of all. And then at the end, we're gonna go through each of our outfits and see how much money we spent. I don't think I've ever done a challenge on this channel where I actually stay in the budget. What a follow rules, I make them. So I think that I have to make the star item like a huge part of the outfit. Because Target's not necessarily like the most affordable store. So I kind of like the idea of a button up because I feel like you could definitely dress this up for nighttime. Maybe tie it like in the little knot for the daytime, make it very like, you know, summer friendly or like daytime friendly. And then at nighttime, I feel like you buttoned it all the way up maybe. Maybe I could get a piece of jewelry and then you wear it with like some jeans. It's just a totally different outfit. It's really hard because I want it all. It's so overwhelming that I think what I need is like my centerpiece. Not the piece I'm gonna use in both outfits, but something I can build an outfit around. So I'm going with for a bottom. I'm looking for a bottom that then maybe my star piece could be a shirt that works for both bottoms. Overall, I mean, like Target's good with sales, you know, so you're always gonna find good deals, but I've always kind of thought Target could be a little bit pressy. So to me, I'm like, Oh, 35 bucks for a t-shirt? Makes sense, it's Target. Okay, I've just uncovered secret Lizzie McGuire section. We got purples, we got neon greens and pinks. Tell me this isn't Lizzie McGuire's aesthetic. It kind of feels like the outfit from the Lizzie McGuire movie. What are, they, what are their names? Isabella. The Isabella. Sing to me, Paolo. Anyway, I didn't understand the assignment and I've gone rogue and now I don't know what to do. I haven't even looked at the prices. Oh no. This uh, Target, it's a Narnia. You walk through a door, like I just walked over there and there's like a thousand times more jewelry over there. I just don't understand. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> my new plan. Okay, so these leggings are like 18. They're kind of like a shiny material. Kind of like the ones I have on, but don't tell anyone. Uh, <laughs> This would be a good thing to go from day to night. Then I could spend a little bit more on the top. Thank God Lauren found the normal human section of Target for women's clothing, because not only are the clothes a little bit better for us, they're also cheaper. This is $3. And yeah, sure, I do own this in like 17,000 different versions, but for three bucks, it basically pays for itself. Okay, I feel like I've done pretty good with the prices. I have $40 left. But now I need to like split that forty dollars for like pizzazz, pizzazz between both outfits. And that's from Subway. I feel like you own this. Probably. I own every pattern of every skirt except this one. That's a big buckle. I'm gonna try it on. All right, so I think overall my items or my outfits right now are looking like very everyday, which is good. I like everyday, so that's fine. But I'm gonna want to jazz it up with some jewels, perhaps a little sugar. Fix by bubble bark. Frost yourselves. Ladies, 
Frost yourself. All right. You look so good. You look better. No, I don't. I think you killed the assignment. I honestly feel like you, you did such a good job. For me, like my daytime ended up being very plain Jane. And I, I do like black a lot, but the thing I noticed immediately walking into Target was I had to skip all patterns, all fancy textures, because everything that was fun was just not my vibe, you know? Yeah. Like a lot of oh, totally. like brighter colors and things like that. And then some of the cooler, edgier stuff ended up being the most expensive things I came across. So I was like, whole mm. Levi section that starts yes. at $75? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but I will say even that being said, yes, it seems a little bit plain, but I do like this. I feel comfortable in it. And that makes me happy because this is like a good go-to daytime look for me. So like gardening, running around, and I'm wearing basically a matching bralette and bike short set. I paired my what will become my star item, this black button up. Mm -hmm. And I really liked the texture of this black button up. It was like softer. Soft. It wasn't that like canvasy, it's yeah. not denim. It's almost like a brushed, like, I don't know. It's really, really comfortable. I just sized up. I think this is like an extra large because I like the idea of having like versatile shirt because I was thinking like, oh, you can you know, tie it around your yeah. waist. Oh yeah. You know, now I look like, yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm on a mission the today. the lowest waist tie I have ever seen. This outfit's so cute. I love that Thanks. you're like, this is really plain for me. Chine a Sinead plain is like a Lauren fancy. Thank you. So I did try to like snazz it up a little bit with these chokers mm -hmm. that I got from the teen section from a brand called Art Class. I will say this is pretty tight, especially this top one. <laughs> but you know what? It, it serves its purpose. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Sinead, I'm dying to know how much you spent on this. All right, so starting with my chokers, uh, my very expensive sterling silver. Uh, no, I'm just joking. These were seven bucks. They did come in a set of five. You guys, I only just wore three. That's five divided by seven. Isn't it Alexa! Seven? Isn't it seven divided by five? No, Alexa, no. what's seven divided by five? Seven divided by five is 1.4. By the way, he was an Amazon- Shut up! Language. A dollar forty a, a choker, that's really good. Um, and also the fact that the choker, seven bucks, is the same price as this bralette. So seven and seven. And then the shorts are 10 bucks. So, I mean, they have this in a bunch of colors too. So overall, you yeah. could like walk out with a variety for less than 20 bucks in just this. The most expensive thing was my star item, which was $20. But again, $20 for a shirt like this, that you're gonna get a lot of different uses out of. Oh yeah, and I would expect to pay this for a shirt like this, if not more, if I was getting this from like a Zara or something yeah. like that, it would be like 30 bucks or 35 bucks. Sinead, how much was the six pack? What six pack? Oh, this one? <laughs> it was free. Damn, girl, you're too good for me. So overall, my daytime look is 44 bucks, which is pretty good, actually. Like, just for how many pieces, 44 bucks? Pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. All right, tell me about your outfit. I went in thinking, all right, if I just pick patterned thing, whether yeah. it's a top or a bottom, and then I'll build an outfit around that, yeah. which I feel like is the opposite direction of, of how you shop. You were avoiding patterns. I found these pattern bottoms. These feel like a great daytime lunch brunch situation. I like them, they're super comfy. This is a, sh hello. This oh, is like, nice. it, I did not get this in the maternity section, but I feel like we have adopted maternity clothes like principles, which oh, I, I like that. Love. You were worried about them being short and I actually think they look perfect with the boot. I was worried. I think, honestly, this came in a regular, so I'm guessing you could get them in long online, uh, but the store this was like, there were only two of these on the shelf. Yeah, but we're working with it. So my star piece, I don't think is a star, but I do think it is versatile and it's this bodysuit. So it's just a black, really simple bodysuit. It doesn't even clasp. Oh, whoa. I was like, what? what? How does, for a second there, I was like, if it doesn't clasp and there <laughs> are no buttons. How do you put it on? How do you put it on? It's a mystery. It's very similar to this. It's actually very similar to this. This was in the, it's by that brand Colsiette? Colsi. Wow, I really Frenched it up. And like Sinead, I also found a pack of chokers, which was just a great, like cheap, easy way to add some accessories to the outfit. Okay, my pieces were 25. Okay, not bad. 15 for this full body phone, I guess. <laughs> and 10 for the chokers, so. The mathematicians tell me that that is $50. Okay, that's a $6 difference between our outfits. That's yeah. not bad at all. You got it, dude. 
Okay, these are our night looks. I feel much more jazzed. I feel like as is is the the, the word of the Snaz. episode. Snaz, pizzazz, and jazz. What else we missing? Razzmatazz. <laughs> there we go. Dazzle. <laughs> yeah. Frazzle. There's so many as words. I'm such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Okay, I definitely feel a lot better about how this outfit turned out. Yeah. I think I just feel at home in a mini skirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has something about, even though I have really long legs, I just love a good patterned mini skirt. Right. And I kind of picked this up as a joke, mostly to be like, Nate's gonna hate this skirt. And then I put it on and I really like it. I don't have any skirt or pattern like this. I like it. I think it's a thousand times better than hopefully we have footage of the skirt you had in your hand prior to this one, which can only be described as curtain-like couch and yeah. or those old fashioned couches. Okay, and of course my star piece is the black bodysuit. Mm. It was really hard to find a jacket yeah. in budget. So I was like, no jackets, what about sweaters? I'm not a cardigan person for some reason, unless it's Taylor Swift. But I, I thought like a duster cardigan mm -hmm. would look really interesting with a mini skirt and then kind of do it this whole thing would yeah. make me look like a little more intentional put together. Right. Um, and I'm very hot. So I get to, like the benefit of a sweater without the consequence of a sweater. Right, right. But I do like this outfit a lot, even Thanks. though, yes, you're right. I am usually, you know, turned turned off by giant patterns, but it actually really works. <laughs> you know, it really ah. works. And I remember when I heard you, who that's a big buckle. And immediately I was like, <laughs> what, is she, what is she looking at? That's a big buckle. I'm gonna try it on. But it really works. It's got a retro feel to it, obviously. Totally. And I like that it's pink and burgundy and that the cardigan matches that. And then I paired the choker set I got had pink in it, so I picked it. Nice. So that it would go with this little doodad. Okay, the cardigan was the most expensive, obviously. This was 30. The skirt, guess how much the skirt was, Sinead? How much? $13, because it was oh, on sale. Dang. I didn't even know. The bodysuit. I'm reusing, this one was 15, and these chokers were part of the $10 choker set from before. Nice. So total my outfit is technically 68. However, because I'm reusing the bodysuit and the chokers, it's like 40. Three, mm -hmm. 43. Excellent she thought of herself. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> she thought of herself. Okay, so I went like four and a half inches out of uh, my discomfort zone. So I was like, well, if I just use this as my star item, I could just button it up <laughs> and change the bottoms up. So I have these black Bermuda denim shorts, again with this, the same button up. I just think it really works. This button up has like a nice material that yeah. just works as a going out. And if you put it like, if you tucked it in all the way to even a pair of jeans with a belt and wore like Ooh, a little yeah. boot, like it would just work. It'd just be like totally meeting like, vibes. A hundred percent. It was like, okay, so since this is all so pretty much by the books, I was like, how can we jazz this up? I remembered I had brought my pink Steve Madden heels, oh, yeah. which I love. Thank you. Peep the shoe. Uh, yeah, because pink is obviously not one of my go-to colors, so it's nice that it's in something like a shoe. And I was like, okay, so like maybe keeping it more simple here will make me feel better knowing that the shoe is gonna pop with this outfit. And I was like, but I want to check out some accessories. I went ahead and looked at the 17,000 towers of jewelry yeah. at Target. In the adult section, not the kids section. Yes, yeah, so I went to the adult section and they have the sugar fix by Bobble Bar, yeah. So I was like, I really like these, but a lot of it just wasn't my vibe. And they were like specific items. But then I found these guitars. They're so cute. And they're really cute and they're pink. Um, and yeah, I just really liked them. And the quality is amazing. Like really, really good. I, that's a good brand. It's like- It is, it's they like sell like them at Nordstrom. Nordstrom. They're 13 bucks. That's actually shocking. I am shooketh. Yeah, and then these um, shorts were 18 bucks. And that was really the only two things I added. But the shirt again, remember is like pricier, it's $20. I like it. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's like a different, obviously like when I go out, this is not necessarily like what I'm gonna wear, but I think just in Target, in order for me to feel comfortable, I have to stick with what like I know and love. This is very Sinead, yes. even though Target may not be very Sinead. Target clothing is not very Sinead. Target, yeah. home decor, candles, all day, every day, yeah. I'm down for it. Mm -hmm. And their dollar section can get it anytime. My star item being reused here is 20 bucks. The new items, my denim shorts, 18, and these earrings that were 13. All together, it's 51 bucks. 51 bucks. 
51 dollars. That's what I got too, too. Yeah, good job, good job. So in total, six items today, I spent 82 bucks. It's insane. You had so much money left over. Why did you do that? You could have bought a bro pillow. I know, I really could have. I had five pieces and they were $93, so I used my $7 to get a Starbucks. That was really smart of you though. I did not do that. Yeah, you could have bought six Starbucks. You should have just told me that. I asked if you wanted anything.